Four warriors of light have been tasked with ridding darkness from the world by the goddess Salune. Through the power of Salune, they have been transported to Barovia, the home of Strahd von Zorovich, whose castle has been overtaken by the avatar of Shar, a wicked, towering demogorgon who wields the rod of oblivion and threatens all the realms with never-ending night. Before we jump in, if you'd like to see more of what we do here, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment down below, and smiting Smite that, that like button, button to help us appease the dark algorithm gods. A glistening portal rips through and you're pressed into the realm of Barovia. Swirling mist spilling below your feet as four warriors, Willa Wellington Wells, a half-dragon cleric of Salune, Alvi, a wild magic barbarian, Kor, Echo Knight, and Gum, Hexblade Warlock of Hirsham. Welcome to Barovia, a land of ghosts, werewolves, and other fell creatures. The wilderness hides many secrets, including the forgotten ruins and battlefields that tell the story of Strahd's life as a conqueror. Rolling thunderclouds cast a gray pall over the land, and a deathly stillness hangs over the dark woods, which are patrolled constantly by Strahd's wolves and other servitors. Directly in front of you, is Castle Ravenloft, built atop the ruin of an older fortress seemingly by artisans, wizards, and workers, probably loyal to some rich, royal magic family. The castle is gothic in style, standing partially crum crumbled, but still, it looms over the land of Barovia, stark against the sky as an omnipresent sign of Strahd's power. Over the land, darkness shoots up like a lance piercing the sky, tearing into the fabric of reality. The courtyard is in front of you. The gates are open. I think the twins are waiting for us. Let's go fill him up with some coffee then. Gonna head through the gates. What's behind us? Um, the town, and some of the and and the castle sort of sits uh, sort of directly. There's there's a little bit of foresting around you, but mostly the town of Barovia. Okay. Do you think what the twins told us about Uncle Van Ricky? Was real? Do you think he's here? Or was that just another lie they told us? They told us sorry. Mm. It's hard to say. Only one way to find out. Okay, well, what do we know about Strahd from what they told us? Mm. He's a vampire. Mm hmm. And what better to fight vampires with than the power of light? The twins are gonna know how we fight. So if you have anything new up your sleeve, now's the time to use it. Well? Keep thinking about what? Just what she said about, and I kind of just look at Alvi, about being wise enough to use this power, I just wish I wasn't so wise. I feel like you gain wisdom by knowing things you wish you didn't know. Mm. I'm just full of things I wish I didn't know. All right, let's go. <clears throat> right behind you. Hey, 
Don't do anything stupid. Yeah. Never. All right. Um, because the gate's open, I just think we should go in full force. I don't think there's any reason to go in sneaking. I don't want them to think I'm a coward. Because I'm not. It's not sure. Doesn't matter what they much, think. Though. I agree with Gum. As much as I wish we could just go in swords in the air, I don't know if that's necessarily the smartest way to go about this. All right. Do we know if vampires can see um, invisible things? I guess they have true sight, but I don't know. Um, Dion, would we know that from what the musings of the twins would have shared for Give us? An arcana check. Can we both all? Sure. Cool. I got a. Ooh. Nope, that's a nine. I got a true net twenty. Yes. Nice. Nice. I remember in one of the twins, uh, coffee fueled, um, <laughs> <laughs> coffee fueled, insane bursts of energy. Them talking about vampires and and true sight or their ability to see through invisibility. Okay. Oh, I remember. They were gabbing on after I gave them some coffee. Mm-hmm. It's useless. Okay. Invincibility yeah. won't work. Invisibility, excuse me. <laughs> Wish I had invincibility. <laughs> Don't we all? Um, well, I can help a little bit anyways, and I'll kind of um, spread my arms out to the group and cast Pass Without Trace on all of us. Fabulous. From the Ooh, brooch. What's the that? brooch. The brooch glows, and two of the five um, little moon symbols on it blink out. And, uh... You all get plus 10 to dex checks, and you can't be tracked except by magical means. Plus 10 to dex. So it might not nice. matter, but. Uh, Very nice. Oh, I got like a willy. I'm, so, I'm so feeling sorry, one more time. Yeah, could you dexy. Repeat that plus 10 to. <laughs> I'm feeling dexy. Plus 10. Thank you. Plus 10 to st- like stealth checks, dex checks. Okay. All cool. checks that are dex. dexterity related? It does say dex checks and then parentheses stealth, so. Stealth. Yeah. Okay, okay so maybe then, we so... can stealth in mm-hmm. for an hour. Okay. Okay, so it would be the roll and then plus 10. Based Correct. Because of her. Thank you. Okay. So, with these new powers that we've been granted by Selune, my shadow, my, my echo, I can use it to see. Perhaps I can use it for surveillance. Yeah. I also still have my um, shield that has the big eyeball on it. I'm going to keep it on the back. Right, but I can send this sh- this this shade somewhere else and and see through its eyes up to a, a considerable distance away. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a great plan. I just want to keep us safe. As much as we've gotten stronger, I'm nervous about going in. Yeah. Before this, I. I was fighting for all of you, but I didn't have much concern for my own well-being, but... You gotta make it back to your lady. I have someone to return to, yes. We'll make sure you do. We love a good love story. (laughs) I blush a little. (laughs) Yeah, she was really cute, even if she was... (laughs) <laughs> Seder. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. Hey, I think, I'm I think that's oh, offensive now. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot. Don't you think these look good on me? Yeah, they do need some washing though. You, oh, yeah. There's <laughs> a shake. Like a shake. <laughs> I got some moss and some uh, fungus growing on. Ears them. flapping okay. around. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have a nice laugh before we go in. Well, we, we have, have many more times. to come after this. Yeah. What? Don't say stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, don't talk like that. I was I was genuine. <laughs> I was ominous. being genuine. I'm sorry. Hey, we're changing the subject. I'm about to use some of these new moon powers. Okay, hey. Ready? We're going to do our secret handshake. It goes. <laughs> One, two, three. 
Boop. Okay. And now you have shield of face. <laughs> All right. I cast shield of face. So what we, you see the tattoo start to like, listen. And has kind of this um, white and blue shimmering light. Boops Ooh. from out of your nose, around your head, and all along your body. Uh, casting uh, a shield of faith. Okay. I feel better now about it. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, oh wait. Mm. Are you ready to go? Yeah. So you have plus two. Wait, wait, wait. You have plus two. Boop. Ah! You get extras too. Yes! <laughs> yes! Again! An extra. D3 to attacks uh, and ability checks. Just use a six. How do I roll that? Thank you. One, two, two, uh, three, four, five, and six. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so D3 for all ability <laughs> attack, checks. Attacks and abilities. Attacks and ability checks. Poop <laughs> to you too, um, lady. <laughs> before we go, I'm going to plus two uh, manifest an echo mm -hmm. just in preparation. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So Alvi's AC is 20. Incredible. Okay, so plus plus three to attacks. Sorry, Miss Alvi. What else attacks? One D uh, plus a D three. A D three. D three attacks and sorry. Uh, and ability checks. Ability. Got it. For ten. Excellent. Okay. Whew. Heading in. Yeah, I kind of look at the ar the the um, the shield I have with the big eyeball, and I kind of like wipe a little some of the eye boogies off of it, <laughs> and then I strap it to my back. Nice. So I can see behind you. I can see behind you. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Nervous. It's gonna be fine. I'm a leader! You are a leader. We lead into, into the doorway. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't shout. Yeah. Into <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, okay. Gonna, I'm gonna take the char. Actually, um, I feel like I should be at the back because I can see behind us. I feel like that kind of makes sure. Sense of the oh yeah, because of the shield. Yeah, I'll, no okay, I'll be in the back of the group. Um, I can uh, float forward. Okay, sit so around, check it out. Alvi. Oh wait, is your, are you sending your echo in? Uh, we can get a little closer before I do okay. that. Yeah. So we'll walk okay. in. Alvi, are you? Who's next? In case you need, do you need walking order? Or? No, that's fine. Oh, okay. We're just walking in. <laughs> but I'm last. Keeping my eye peeled. <laughs> <laughs> so you make your way into the front courtyard, and as you pass the gate, the weather immediately begins to worsen. Dismal rain starts to fall and quickly turns into a deluge, soaking through your clothes. Ugh. I think I'm just like kind of shouting through the rain. I think we should just go inside. Lightning routinely lights the sky, followed by peals of thunder that make the castle shudder around you. Shake off little icicles that have started forming all over <laughs> because of the rain. <laughs> Thick cold fog swirls in the courtyard. <sighs> Sporadic flashes of lightning lance the weeping clouds overhead, and thunder shakes the ground. Through the drizzle, you see torch flames fluttering on each side of the keep's main doors. Warm light spills out of the entrance, flooding the courtyard. High above the entrance is a round window, ornate, with stained glass. Willa, could you give me a perception check? Yes, I can. Would that be also an ability? Mm -hmm. So I get a, okay, so I'm gonna roll this with the, ah, uh, yes! Per sec, come on, I see everything. <laughs> okay, sweet, okay, so that's a, wait, so be a, a one. one, okay, so 17. Wait, ooh, 17 plus seven. You're good. Yeah, I see y'all, okay, I'm like, you through sense? the rain, I'm like, <laughs> You sense and then see a burst of powerful dark energy. You hear the shattering of glass just in time, just in time to see a defenestrated figure howling and hurtling towards the ground until they crash limply in front of you. <laughs> I put my hands out to block my friends. Okay, and I crouch down. Stay there. I look, I'm gonna come up to the, I'm gonna be crouching kind of on all fours. I have my wings kind of curled up behind me and my tail floats behind. I'm crawling up to this body on the stairs. Be careful. Really slowly. Don't touch it. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go up to it really slowly. A cold, bitter wind spins and dead leaves float through the air. Slowly, the figure that fell from the window rises. Oops. 
Oh. Towering above you. <laughs> Billowing cape, darkness and lightning splits the clouds overhead, casting stark, stark white light across him. This individual turns to the sky, revealing the angular muscles of his face and hands. He has a look of power and of madness. His handsome, pale face is contorted by a tragedy darker than that of night itself. His hypnotic eyes are normally dark, but glow like red-hot coals when he is aroused or angry. I look up. How rude. Ah, yes. Welcome to Barovia. My name is Strahd von Zarovich. It is pleasure to make acquaintance. Wait, the Strahd. Your reputation precedes you. Yes, the Strahd. I stand up and kind of shake off some of the water and the dead leaves that were sucked to my hands. <clears throat> Why didn't you use the door? Ah, a short story. Demigorgon come with power of sharp. Keeps me from home. Rude. Yes, very rude. We know that, Demigorgon. <laughs> I know. The Visanti have told me that you have been fighting for things. You deal with the Visanti? Yes, they tell me information. I don't kill them. It's a good deal. I guess that's understandable. Are you saying the Demogorgon kicked you out of your own home? Yes, and I want revenge. Perfect. That's very convenient. It is, except there is one problem. Anybody of any strength dies to the curse of Strahd. It's a strange thing. I don't understand. But you four, perhaps that is your goal, the Demogorgon. Our goal is to get the rod back. Rod? Rod of Oblivion? No, the rod of the four moons. I see. I want my castle back. So. <laughs> <laughs> we take Strahd very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my, my cloak. It's, it's not work. Uh, we make. <laughs> It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard being you strong. You just fell out of the window. You need to get one of these things. Yes, for you. yes, I agree. Uh, but now, serious, serious matter. We make uneasy alliance. I show you through castle. You help me fight. We defeat the Demigorgon. I have what I want, and you have what you want. We're a little thin on trust right now. So how can we trust you? You can't. I'm strong. I have killed... I have killed turtle princesses and many other adventurers. <laughs> I have heard great tales <laughs> of Princess <laughs> Tallulah <laughs> the <Tallulah laughs> <Tallulah laughs> <Tallulah laughs> <the> Salty. <laughs> Listen, okay, we used to read the adventures in the library of Princess Tallulah the Salty and her uh, adventures, and she, anyways, her mom was this epic. Not important! She fought with Kay and Thea and some other very brave warriors. She did, and she and did. And she made it back just fine. And she made it back to her mom just fine, and she collected seashells on the seashell by yes. the seashore. Oh, she made it back just fine. Just fine. So. We ascend castle together. You cannot make it on your own. This I guarantee. <laughs> and, and I treat you to dinner. It's good. It's Barovian special. What does that mean? You're gonna listen no, every no. time some fucker says I'm gonna treat you to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you usually end up being the main course. Yeah, we of are the dinner. dinner. You'll have to forgive us. We've had <clears throat> quite a journey. I'm sure you know of some of it. Yes, I have heard. Warriors of Light, I know you travel through the domains of Dread. Wait, do you know um, Xavier and Xander? Xavier and Xander. Um, well, Van Richten? Uh, Van Richten? I, I, point, I point up to the window. Mm. The Demogorgon that just kicked you out of your own home. Mm. Mm, yes. Used you know to be our friends. 
Mm. Do you know Van Richten? Come inside. We talk. I tell you about Van Richten. Huge asshole. No problem. Does he actually have nephews? It is quite damp out here. The icicles that are on my arms have gotten quite long at this point. So <laughs> kind of the water and bees don't even hit straw. They just kind of stop and come yeah. down. What other choice do we have? Come! Inside! Uh, yes. It is cold. It's okay. only good Barovian manners. I treat you to dinner. Before you become dinner. Out here is oh, it's not safe. Okay. But didn't you just get kicked out of your house? How are we supposed to go into your home ah, and well, have dinner? Let me explain. I'm sorry. I did not catch your names. Alvy. Alvy. Willa Wellington Wells. Willa. <laughs> Core. Core. Gum. Yum. Gum. Yum. <laughs> Gum. Yum. I cannot understand your language. Come on. Come in. Come, come. I show you. We can't assume that everybody speaks common, all right? That's rude of us. How fucking dare we? It is quite rude of us. It is quite rude of us. <clears throat> it's gum. Yum. Gum. All right, I'm going to follow. I, I, just put a hand, I put a hand on Gum's shoulder, and I'm like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder what the gum tastes like. Kim. No. No what? That is not part of the deal. You shall see. We thought we were going to have to fight him anyway, so he's on our side. Yes. It's probably better. I am on your side. He can absolutely hear you. <laughs> I know. It's easy. I just listen. Fine. Lead <laughs> the way, Strahd. Ah, yes, very nice. Follow me. Watch. I make some thunder crack above. <laughs> Boom! Lightning! Thunder! I don't even flinch. My mom can do that. Uh, yeah. I'm immune to the He's funny, Willa. Conditions. Come. Come, 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 come. Uh, I'll follow the <laughs> in. Excuse me. Uh -huh. <laughs> you gonna make your. You gonna follow the straw? Yeah. What a choice. I'm gonna go last. <clears throat> I'll go, Just, uh, I'm gonna go first. I'll follow. I'm gonna be like. Kind of right on his, uh, right on his tail. It's his first time in Barovia. Nope. We've heard plenty of things about Barovia from our old friends. Yes. So the where can we go? What currently is uh, available? So you can open. You can go straight in through the main, uh, the main doorway. <laughs> you sort of walk up towards it, and yeah, just with your hands, it just magically opens and parts way for you. Okay. There's a, a grand hallway with a, sort of just a towering ceiling. Um, beautiful stained glass uh, adorns uh, the windows around and um, a magnificent, enormous uh, crystal chandelier uh, illuminates uh, the hall along with uh, some some candles along, candles and torches. If you like, I have this custom made. By who? Ah, mages and others. It's quite a lovely home. Mm, yes. It's not really my style. It's a, so I would call it dark, gothic, depressing. <laughs> it is my favorite. We're from the Feywilds. Yes, I know. Light. Just I dislike light. It's understandable. Cool. Mm, mm -hmm, we dislike yes. the darkness. I do, yes. Okay, so this food? Ah, yes. So can we go to the dining room? Yeah, you head straight there. You you lead them. You sort of like hover across the ground. It looks as though you're just sort of floating. His cape billows behind him as he goes. Yes, ready your weapons. It's at the moment um, the forces of Shar are concentrated in the catacombs. So did you say? Ready? So wait, uh, are you saying in the catacombs, but you fell from the second story? <laughs> yes, demi organ up there. Forces come from below. Ah. Okay. So you, yeah, castle proper. It's okay for now. If you'd like to just describe uh, sort of the the hallways as you make your way through, like the turns that it takes to get to the uh, to the courtyard. Yes, right, left, right. We are here now. <laughs> <laughs> and in the dining hall. Yes, in the dining hall. Um, there's sort of you enter through another door that Strahd just parts uh, with his hands. Uh, pillars of stone stand against a dull, white marble walls supporting the ceiling. 
in the center of the room, a long, heavy table is covered with a fine white uh, satin cloth. The table is laden with many delectable foods, roasted roasted beast basted in a savory sauce, roots and herbs of every taste, and sweet fruits and vegetables. Places are set for each of you with fine, delicate china and silver. At each place is a crystal goblet filled with an amber liquid, uh, delicate, tantalizing fragrance, uh, fragrance sort of wafts towards you. And at the center of the far west wall, between the floor to ceiling mirrors, stands a massive organ. What? Organ. Like the, like, <laughs> kind of organ or like the... No, more like, yeah. I will play for you, but first eat. I had these prepared for another adventurers, but they die mysterious. I don't understand. It's very strange. Please eat. It's they Hero's die, Feast. It would empower you. after they ate the feast? Uh, before. Mm, Can dinner. I do any kind of? Oh, I've got a goblin. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. Okay, so Alan and I are sitting next to each other. We'll be like, <laughs> yum, and it goes over our shoulder. Well, aren't you hungry? Didn't yes, you? Yes, of course. I grab, uh, I grab a goblet and drink from it. As uh, he sets the goblet down, you see like a, a very dark, thick red liquid trickling down from his. Uh, his <laughs> He's good. Refreshing, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which adventure was that? I'm sorry. What? Hey, who? <laughs> Seriously, please eat. Oh, mm-hmm. if you do not wish to eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, offense. Now we and do I, and I, I am so full. I am being 100% honest. Mm, yes. All of this stuff on this table, I, I don't eat it. He's a very All picky eater. Yeah, Always very picky eater. Yeah. His mom hated him. Usually I just eat the bugs off my fur. I'm good. I'm a vegetarian. As am I. Hmm. Is that, what? Is that plant blood in your cup, <laughs> sir? <laughs> plant blood. <laughs> this is special liquid. I make myself. Uh, yeah, we bet. Mm, I don't yum. like the sound of that. Mm. Straw. Dog straw. <laughs> okay, do, am I getting this right? No one is actually eating any of this food. No, we're not. No. <laughs> okay. I'm, Alvi and I are making a good show of it. We're yeah. actually, I, as I'm joking, I've got I'm some actually good trying. To, yeah, we're trying to actually. Actually. You yeah. Yourself, I promise. So what, what's 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 this here? Ah, that is roast boar from Barovian Forest. Roast boar. Yes. Mmm, delicacy. It's good, I I'm promise. I don't want to know what happens, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. You can do it? <laughs> you bite into it, and it's like the best meat you've ever had, and you feel like just this wash of like light kind of like warm your tummy. And you gain the benefits of uh, 10 what? temporary hit points. Is that all for Hero's Feast? Um, I, think it's some, I think it's deeper than that. Let me just uh, okay. double check. A single tear. <laughs> <laughs> it is good, no? Finest cooks in Barovia make. That's the best meat I've ever had. Oh. I'm glad. Yeah, tears so, just streaming oh, down Gum's face. How about these? I have a... Oh, wait. Can I uh, send out some magic awareness towards this food in front of us? Sure. And see if it seems like there's anything sketchy about it? Uh, like the location of any spell? Or what school of magic it would belong to? Within um, it, it's, it's quite. It's, it, yeah, it's quite. It's quite the opposite. Um, you sense. Uh, you sense uh, essentially the equivalent of the spell Heroes Feast. Great. Um, which means that you would know that uh, the a creature who partakes in the feast will be cured of all diseases, poisons, becoming oh. immune to the poison condition, and being frightened, as well as making all wisdom saving throws with Jesus. advantage. Hold on. Yeah, oh wait, job. wait. This is for all of us. We're about to feast, no, only you so. ate. <laughs> only I, I just okay. checked the food though, and I will be informing yeah, my party you, members. Could you repeat that one more? Yeah, time? of course. So, um, if you decide to eat this food, um, if Alvi chooses to convey this to you, and I if you decide that. to um, uh, trust <laughs> the tears from Gum, um, <laughs> you become you become immune to the poison condition as well as being frightened. All wisdom saving throws you make are with advantage. 
and your hit point maximum, not 10 temporary hit points, your hit point maximum increases by 2d10. Do we roll that ourselves then? Yes, you do. Is that permanent? It is your hit point maximum. Yeah, until I think for 24 hours. For 24 so. hours. Oh. So, what, what's 2d10 for that? Well, we gotta eat first, we gotta know better. Right? If you eat. Yes. Hit point maximum. And I show you that I've got like a little glitter kind of like yeah, so reaching out around the food. Yeah, right here. So you have 61 or 71? It 71. like turns <laughs> green. It turns green. Right? Oh, Sorry, no, just. Uh, oh, 2d10. 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 Yeah. Green means okay. go. Yes, it's berries. They're very good. All sorts. From, uh, I have procured. Mm. Please eat. Okay, I'm going to dig into I like am. A, <laughs> a big spoonful of like mashed <laughs> potatoes yeah. and I'm, with gravy, and I'm going to. Jesus oh. Christ. Your mouth just like, like the Did saliva just like fine. fills your mouth. It is the best food you have literally ever eaten in your entire life. And it's eight o'clock. <laughs> See, that's so, that's so bad. And I, I play you organ during dinner and Yes, show. please. Do you okay. take recommend? Do you take requests for food? No, for the music. Oh, I know all Barovia's greatest. All depressing. All dirges. <laughs> Anything to amp us up before we? Nothing in a major key is what I'm hearing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, perhaps area. All right. Uh, let's, let us talk then. I'm going to cast Animate Object, fifth level spell, on uh, the organ so it plays itself. Nice. <laughs> 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 Um, and I'm just continuing. Like, tell me yeah, about, uh, tell me about the like venture. Sorry, We've been on a long one. Morgan, take down beat. <laughs> long adventure, right? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> He's favorite. I play when depressed, all time. Are you depressed all the all time? The time? All the time, There's yes. medication for that. I take some, it's okay. Uh, DM, <laughs> what are the vegetarian options on the table? You said there's berries, there's a ton of Yeah, there's berries, fruits, vegetables. Any, yeah. Any non non meat proteins, there's okay. beans, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna make myself beans, a little beans, salad. <laughs> <laughs> fruit. The more you eat, the more you do. <clears throat> Anyways. Just whole beans, baby. <laughs> Just a whole plate of beans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, long adventure. Yes. Please tell me more. I make my bowl and I eat it very, very well, slowly. Well, my, my regal training coming back out uh, because of the are you, hey, surroundings. Are you, gonna, are you gonna finish that? Are you gonna? Are you gonna Core, I am impressed. <laughs> Bye. You have way of carrying yourself. Mm. Few. No such decorum nowadays. <sighs> yes. I am a queen. Oh, impressive. My mother was a queen. And then she died. <laughs> Alvi, tell me more, please. Oh, um, well, I was gonna say that our adventure kind of started with people related to Van Richten, if you wanted to maybe ah, yes, tell well, us what yes. you know. Sorry, that's kind of urgent. No, it's okay. He wants to kill me. Yeah. He's bad relationship. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Uh, what do you know about his extended family? That's my, okay. that's my max <laughs> increase. I tell you all things. It's got 18. It's like a musical. Are you gonna a musical number? Are you gonna sing about it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> sing me the song of Van Richten's. Yeah, please yeah. sing me the song of Van Richten's legacy. Uh, Van Richten is. <laughs> what is? What's what is, what is happening? <laughs> the organ's going a little funky. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I turned it off. It's gone rogue. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. He, just, he just like unplugs the. <laughs> okay, wait, I gotta yes, roll away. Yes, I, I will explain. Come on. <gasps> Van Richten Bam. is notorious. Hey, but yes. Will, please focus. Huh? Focus. I'm so sorry. The creme brulee is like my compliments, the compliments oh. to the chef. Oh, yes, he died. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> is he in the creme brulee? He, he, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he was good chef. Now, um, yes, Van Richten, notorious vampire hunter, monster hunter, and um, currently locked in catacomb. I win. <laughs> um, does he 
happen to have an extended family, uh, yes. siblings who well, have his, children? His first son was killed by Baron, but he adopted two new children. Uh, yeah, twins. White hair. I see him one time. Try to kill, but no work. That's Xavier insane. So when you tried to kill them, were they like super nice. powerful dark magic? Or were they just like, <laughs> do, 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 you know? No, they were airheads. Very dumb, very stupid. <laughs> well, that sounds right. Okay, that sounds fair then. We I must tell you that us five <laughs> is not enough <laughs> to take down the Mikuri. This is, this pains me terribly, upsets my depression, gives me ulcer. Is the following. <laughs> Van Richten, we must help him. Ah, uh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> His tragedy. I write organ piece. But. <laughs> listen, it's not funny. Death is real. Except for me. But. Van Richten will be the only one that can help us defeat the Demic Organ. He will have the way. Because we cannot just defeat Demigorgon, we must exile Shar. We do not have means. Van Richten will no way. This is why he is fucking asshole. <laughs> so Sensing some tension. I'm so excited to meet this man. <laughs> Sensing uh, some I should tension there. The, uh, you said he was in the catacombs, correct? Yes, yes. If you locked him up, can't you just get him out? No! <laughs> it's your castle. Listen, he's not my... He's Shar. Shar takes castle! Shar goes... Ksh. Oh yeah, you did say the power was coming from the oh, catacombs. Oh, the catacombs. Okay, so, yes. so we go down to the catacombs, we release Uncle... You talk to your tailor, my friend. Ahem. Yes, it's difficult when you fight Demigorgon alone! <laughs> 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 yes. Um, I need to finish this plate, and then we can go down to the basement after I like loosen my armor a little bit. Great. <laughs> can I ask one DM question just uh, to make sure? Um, what were all of the food benefits one, one last time? You get immune to poison. Yeah. Immune right. to being frightened. Mm -hmm. Advantage on wisdom saving throws, and your uh, hit point pool goes up by two d ten. Okay, cool. I, I got everything. Ooh, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Indeed. Um, so I'm gonna take kind of this last bites of this like creme brulee. There's like strawberries on top of it, like a little whipped cream that I'm dipping in, and then I'm reaching over to Valvi's plate, taking a bite of the chocolate cake. Thank you very much. I've already given you my plate. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that was a feast. My compliments to the dead chef. Yes, he's tragic. Rest in pieces. Mm, Thank yes. you, Strahd, for treating us to this meal, but I believe we probably should be going. Yes? You have not told me. Adventure. Oh, um... Mm. Chosen one. Chosen one, okay, so... I... Uh, anyways, I was born on uh, a cold night in the middle of the final month of the... No? Not for that far back? Do we yes, no, great. <laughs> uh, okay. for it. Uh, anyways, fast forward, uh, and uh, about, I don't know how long have we been venturing, like two, a month ago, two months, I don't know, DM, how long have we been venturing? Uh, I mean, in your time, it's been a few weeks. Great, so about a few weeks ago, on my 18th birthday, I woke up, I was like, I gotta go through the, anyways, it's like rite of passage and stuff, and I did well, and then, this dragon appeared in our hometown. We tried to fight it, and it, it didn't really go well. Oh, dragon was mom. Well, oh. Oh, yeah, I guess I so. guess, yeah. Technically. Technically. Why are um, you asking if you already know? Yeah, wait. I hear some stories. Do you want Talking. the plot synopsis or no? No, no, I want what to hear from you. What do you not know of? What would you like us to tell you about? Fast you don't know what you don't know. We've gone through, through a lot of the different <laughs> drum, the domains of dread. And then we um, got our like fortunes told, and then we found these twins, mm -hmm. and then we went to a lot of different places. We ended up at the circus, and then we went to a dance, and then 
Core was like, I'm a queen, and we were like, no way. And then we went, and then we found out Gum was a traitor to his family. But, it, I mean, it's fine now. And then yeah. um, also we found Albie's dad and her mom is alive. And then also Albie is a satyr. Albie's a satyr, and then he's an elf. He's not a satyr. And she's a queen, and I'm the chosen one. Very confusing if you pick up right here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is for... <clears throat> you see, there are... <laughs> you see, there are uh, uh, ghosts watching, and I like to give them stories sometimes. I already know. I've already cast... Uh, what? I look at other ghosts? I've already cast attack thoughts on all of them, so I know all this. Heard. Uh, yeah, so... Yes, and uh, you are a beautiful elf prince. I don't even remember what I look like. I know. Look, I show you. No, you cannot see through my eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Anyways, just, uh, we found I'm my mom. Strong. And then she, uh, Selune showed up. Mm. Well, pre, anyways, in the pre-season of that, mm. I encountered Selune in the woods before, when I was still, like, 17. Mm. And then she gave me this tattoo. But anyways. Oh, he's a beautiful tattoo. Thank you. And then sometimes it lights up. And um, and then the origin stories. Alvi and I met at the library. Oh, library. Yes. Yeah, I have great library here. Perhaps after we... Save the world? Geek's okay. Castle. Great, great. Save world, not matter. Get a castle, yes. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and then St. Lunae brought us here. And uh, we were betrayed by the twins, question mark? Unclear. Hmm. And uh, I just want to go home. I am emotionally not well. So. Ah, we me as well. Great. I, anyways, we have in common. I don't think we have that much in common. No, you we should do not. take up the organ. I, does that look like it's helping him? <laughs> oh, good point. Um, you you Honestly, want to play. Do you remember that time we went to go see that for the, that show? It was the... The, the, the that that one show it was called like the, the ghost of the past of the theater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a girl that was really pitchy. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I said, you don't remember seeing that show? Your dad took us to it. I think you may have fallen asleep during it. It wasn't I don't very good. This at all. You fell asleep. We were very young. You too young. He's a terrible story. It's not. It's not a good show. That's why they never. That's why the touring show never came back to the Feywilds. I see. They all die in tragic accidents. Uh, that's you can call it that. Oh, very good. I am so used to that. I understand. Uh, well, I feel like I know why you're sad. <laughs> I don't think it's a big mystery. Anyway. Oh yes. If you'll forgive me, Strahd, I'm getting a little impatient. <laughs> Please, may, may you show us the way to the catacombs? Of course. Are you all full? Yes, yes. absolutely. Right. Well, let us move then. I show you paintings and dead people, and we move on. All right. Paintings of dead people, I should say. Clarify. Thank Are they alive? I would have believed they? both of those things were here. <laughs> ah, okay, I gotta, okay, it is so fun being vampire lord. Come. <laughs> should we leave our plates here? I feel bad. Yes, they will be picked up at some point. Anyways. Okay. Magical servants, but they are not working right now because char. Mm. Great. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stand up, push in my chair, grab my axe. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, lead the way, Strahd. Right, Strahd is gonna go through some um, like art gallery locations and some of the fine weapons and armor. Yeah, and it's a beautiful armory. Um, and you sort of make your way um, down. There's several descending staircases, so they spiral, the first one spirals downward. And there's another uh, grand sort of, um, uh, it looks like an entertainment room. Um, what does that mean for a vampire? <laughs> Yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> this is personal room. Do not look. Oh, okay. Oh, that kind of. Oh, that kind. Of <laughs> <laughs> and then you sort of, great, great. You sort of spiral down another step, and there's a whole room, and <laughs> every wall is lined with 
about six six foot five tall by about five foot wide mirrors. Mm-hmm. Like very ornately gilded mirrors. And as you walk by, um, <clears throat> give me a perception, anyone? And I get to add a D3 to it. Yeah. 33. Ah, wow, woo uh, 27. Um, Thanks. so nine, yeah. you notice that Strahd doesn't have a reflection. Mm-hmm. And Willa, you said you got a 27? Yes. Um, you sort of just, your reflection sort of catches your eye a bit. Uh, I'll and look back at it? Yeah, you look back at it. And it sort of just looks back at you as you're looking back at it. my hand out. And it sort of grabs your hand <gasps> and it pulls its body out of the mirror. Oh. Ah, ah, God. God. <laughs> Can I punch it? <laughs> sure. Give me a tack roll. <laughs> roll for initiative. <laughs> oh God. Um, 12 plus eight. You sort of like punch through it. Nothing happens. Oh. This is silly stuff. He's not mine. Nice. Nice. Willow rocks. Willow rocks. Strahd, do you care to explain? (laughs) What is going on? I do not know. I feel as though the demigorgon has mm, twisted my traps. Um, These I am not familiar Traps? Traps, yes. It is castle. Many traps. Uh, yes, but you didn't tell us of any of these traps. Yes, you walk behind me. Trap does not trigger. I think. This is the perfect trap for you. It's just a mirror. This is the perfect <laughs> trap for me. It's just a mirror. Ooh. I am confused. I we don't like Willow. this anymore. <laughs> Okay, goodbye! And I literally <laughs> put my hands out and shove Mirror Reflection Willow back Give in. Give me a strength check. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Wow! Okay, nine. Ooh, that's plus nine, ten, nine, twelve. Twelve plus five, seventeen! Yeah, you shove the Boom. back into the mirror, and it sort of just becomes inert. I'm gonna punch the mirror. That was fun until it wasn't. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a straight up straw punch in the mirror. Strong. Strong. The, glass, the glass shatters to the floor. But like if you look down at the floor, you can still see like bits and pieces of your reflection. Like, uh! He's no problem, we we'll clean up later, come. Can I take a piece of it? You sure can if you want to. Yeah. Oh God. Cursed me. stuff, cursed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> You know, I just touched my Okay. Anyways. So you make your way. Um, Do I see you're gonna continue? that up, that piece up, or is it mm-hmm. stealthy then? Okay, I don't yeah, I'm gonna see keep it. walking forward. Okay. Strahd continues to walk forward. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. That was creepy and bad. I follow. Keep, keep up. This is Barovia. All think creepy and bad. Just live with it. Mm. Okay. Good point. That's kind of what the twins said. It's yeah. kind of Everything what we've been living terrible. through for the past few weeks. So yes. it's not like it's much different from that. I agree, Cor. In fact, all domain of dread, terrible hell. Do not recommend. Why did you make it such a bummer? I mean, you're in charge of all this. You've got some amazing magic. Ah, you are misinformed. Domain of dread is not fun place. He's not my place. He's prison. I mean, your place, though. Yes. What it's do you mean prison? prison. Oh. It's prison for all. Dark Lord. Shard's doing? Mm, yes. What? So if you Mist. weren't stuck here, where would you go? <sighs> hmm. I do not know. I do not know. This is a question I have not pondered for hundreds of years. What do you like to do when you're not being an overlord? 
Uh, yeah, um, what do you do in your spare time? Be that, like, fills your hollow heart. Be asking Moonlight. Write terribly tragic poetry. Uh, listen to depressing music. Um... Yes, things like this. Well, that's the thing. You gotta make space for the goodness in your life. You know. Have you considered being a playwright? No. Just consider the arts. Is what I'm hearing. Ah, yes, the arts. As an outlet. Mm, I see. For I do sense, have one outlet, but I do not recommend. Is it the murder? It is murder. It's the murder. <laughs> that's why you're sad. <laughs> it's it's the the murder. <laughs> yes, but he's so easy. He's so fulfilling, and then I get to eat. But the easy stuff isn't going to be as fulfilling as the creative stuff. Yeah. Yeah. As you're continuing to walk along, I need core. I need you to give me a deck saving throw. Oh if God. I could cry, you have I might. ten though because of Alvi's. Um, um, Is that for deck saves too? I thought that was. I thought no. we had no, decided just, that was just oh, yeah, it's just, yeah. Checks. Oh, just for checks. Deck saves. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nine. Um, so you activate a pressure plate, and uh, hey. who, what was the walking order again? I was last. I was up front. I I, so probably, I had said I was going to trail right. behind earlier. I figured I was probably keeping that. So position. it's probably Strahd, me and Alvi, Gum, then Core. Okay, so you so um, you trigger Strahd. the pressure plate, um, and I need uh, Willa to give me a deck save as well. I wasn't anywhere near her. It's fine. And Albie. I'm not walking. That's fine. So you don't so have to give me a deck save. Okay. Mm-hmm. The... the floor opens up beneath you and spikes are right below. Oh, wait. Abil- no, it's ability check. Just kidding. Sorry. The floor opens up beneath you and there are spikes directly below your feet. Uh, I immediately unsheath my wings and I start to flow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. See ya. <laughs> You catch yourself, like, right, you start, you fell, but you got your wings up just quick enough that, like, like, sort of, um, (laughs) like, the little, like, one of the little uh, pokey needles uh, just, like, sort of, like, just stabbed just through the bottom of your foot. I check for blood. What? I check for blood. There is blood. (laughs) Okay. Ah! Can I blow, can I just, like, um, take my wings back up? Yeah. And I'm gonna land back on the on the floor. Ah! I mean, I have nothing to save me from this. So I'm just I'm. I'm oh, well, you just. Well, you were behind, away. so the pressure plate was behind. Oh, and okay. In front of you. I fell through. Yeah. Ah, my foot. Ah. So now you need to figure out how you're gonna get across. <laughs> it's about ten feet across. Core. Mm-hmm. I can just get come get her. Great, I'm just gonna lift up. Lifter. Great, we're gonna fly over. I'm gonna <laughs> flap my wings over. Ah, I'm gonna put my arms s- out. Sitting, st- stepping kind of gingerly on my left foot. Owie. I have a med kit. Yeah, her. it went through my. Boot. It was in my go bag for. <laughs> my will go bag. <laughs> Hold on a moment, and I take off my boot. It's a little <laughs> smelly. I just stick my foot up in the air to Alvi. Fix it. <laughs> you see a tiny fairy just like. I draw a little green goblin on the bandage. Ah, that's very good. <laughs> Great, and I'll put my boot back on. Thank you. Uh, ready? I'm gonna take my arm and just kind of scoop like right under you. Oh, I'd probably be like that way. I'll just like scoop and. I'm Strength like, check. Assist. Uh, and then uh, Alvi will be on the other side, of course. Strength check at the event. Great. This is a. Is this an ability check? Yes, it is. Great. I get to roll this too. Wow! Wow! That's six, six. Yep, you got yeah, it. Sixteen plus <laughs> five, plus twenty-one, and then advantage. Which, well, anyways, should I just get it? There you go. Oh, okay, mm. great. we lift one, two, and a. Whoop. You sort of just like lift core up through the air, and you sort of look down at the spikes right below you, clap. and you make clap. your way across clap. to the other clap. side. And I just like very slowly set her back down. Ever a dull day. Yeah. Thanks Apologies for trusting us. We dropped her. you like ten times when we were facing the mind flayer. It's okay. Adventuring, like dreadfully boring. This is all you do all day. Evade traps and e- try not to die. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's about it. We didn't choose the adventuring life. The adventuring life chose us. Quite literally. Quite literally. Yeah. Eh. He's interesting. Interesting how, Strong. Dreadfully boring, interesting. I just tried to make a nice compliment. Do not read so much. Come, it's time. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Uh, I'm just gonna leave my wings kind of unfurled a little bit. Okay. Uh, unfurled. Uh, you continue in. Uh, down the hallway. There's another sort of spiraling staircase to another level. I'm paying much more attention to where I'm walking this <laughs> time. You are close, I think. Yeah. You live here, you think? Yes. Castle has been twisted. Fine. Mm-hmm. Continue. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, um, you head down, and it's a uh, sort of long, narrow hallway. Um, and can you give me, can everybody give me a perception check? Oh, 35, natural 20. Oh, my. Oh! Not natural one. <laughs> a 15? 18. 14. Willa. Okay. Um, all three of you notice, I mean, well, yeah, Gum, you're not just really super paying attention, but the three of you notice, and Strahd, obviously, you notice, um, there is uh, this really ornate, beautiful um, sort of chest sitting at the end of the hallway, and it's it's cracked open just a little bit, and there's some gold ah, out of it. He's treasure. Go, adventures. Ah. Go for it. Go, go. I wish to see what happened. Huh? Fuck yeah. you. No. Have you seen any of the things that we've walked around here? Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't need any money. My parents yeah, are famous. <laughs> I'm fine. Why don't you go get it? So big I have infinite gold. Isn't that your gold? No. This is your I've castle. Yeah. I've seen it before. Yeah. Yes, it is my gold. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Is it for us? Then? You have to know. I shall check. I shall try your little games. I'll go check the chest. I'll fly over. And so you fly up to the door. Give me a... Oh, the door? In, sorry, t- it's by the door. Mm-hmm. Um, give me an investigation check. Uh, and everybody else, give me an investigation check, just as you're casually watching. 30. Okay. Nice shooting. <laughs> okay. As you get closer, I'm going to transform into a bat. Sweet. <laughs> you fly around, take a look at it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's about net, t- <laughs> net 20. Oh, nice. 17. 11. Okay, Zero. so. Show. Oh, <laughs> I, went from, I went from I went from not paying attention to going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, Gum, when you go, huh? Uh, <laughs> just as, like, you were the only one who catches this. Oh, my God. Um, Because it happens so fast, but as Strahd makes a loop around the treasure chest, you see, like, just a little flicker of a tongue come out of the chest. And, like, you see just the shining of teeth. Yeah. What the fuck? He's mimic! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I found my new familiar. It's just this bat. Strahd bat. Strahd bat. <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, Is it what? It's, I'm going to polymorph. Use polymorph. Polymorph into a chicken. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Look, he's chicken now. You polymorphed into a chicken or the chest? <laughs> no, I polymorphed the chest into a chicken. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought I, you made yourself into a chicken. The chicken sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> and starts running towards you. Ah! <laughs> and then it's like, it opens its mouth and it has like fangs. It's like... <laughs> I literally just take my axe and I chop its head off. Oh, you kill it. it. Oh, yeah. I, it, 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 the polymorph creature has the whatever. I think if it dies, it's polymorph. It dies. Okay, roll yeah. a hit. Okay. I'm hitting with my axe then, right? So that's a, oh, wow. So, uh, 14 plus 11. Yeah, you hit it. Yeah, I'm literally going to go and just swing my axe. And, go, and I just You swipe its head off and blood gushes all over your face. <laughs> a lot of blood for a small chicken. I have seen so much blood. I have seen so much blood. Oh, well, yeah. On account of the murder. Ow no, ow perhaps. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I just wipe it off. This is just it's a nice chicken. Just... Yes, thank you. I, I, take, I take uh, back. Adventuring, perhaps, is fun. Uh, I'll pull a handkerchief out and get a little bit of the blood. And then I'll, uh, so blood. I'll, I'll toss the blood-soaked rag to Strahd here. <laughs> God, you're the worst. <laughs> Interesting. He's dragon blood. Ah, yes, white and gold. Hey, what? I'm a white and gold dragon. There was no, none of your blood on there? No, it's no, a chicken, chicken blood. blood. Oh, chicken blood. He's not a dragon. It's, it's a, a chicken. white and gold <laughs> chicken. <laughs> I was like, wait, are you saying the chicken was also a dragon? He <laughs> <laughs> did. No, not my blood. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, yes, I knew that. 
You gotta continue? Chicken. Yeah. Just go ahead. Oh, Great. Uh, lead the way to have. this fucking horrible, horrible castle. I imagine these twins have a bad sense of humor. Mm, they were kind of funny sometimes. They Wait, were cute, that? so they got away with more than they should have. I see. Why do you say that? Hmm? Why do you say that? Mimic mirrors is oh, very odd. So you think that maybe there's like a little bit of them kind of still in there? Perhaps. I think so. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. They were That's a good point. For us. Mm-hmm. Good observation, Strug. Way to contribute to the team. You start team. pulling your weight around yes. here, man. Yes, team. It is now. Ah. You're in an adventuring now. party. Um, I thank you. All right, let's go. Continue. Think so. Yes, yes. Thanks. All right, never mind. Okay, so uh, there's a door in front of you if you'd like to open it. Open it. I cast sleep on Korn. <laughs> what? You immediately, you immediately uh, fall asleep because you your head dies is eight or less. Yeah. Uh, Core, now is not the time to take Wait, a nap! What? You immediately, you immediately fall, fall asleep. asleep. I have nothing I can do. No, 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 nothing no, no, you can no do because your hit dice is, I think it's like 8 or 10 or less. Yep. You immediately fall asleep. Oh. Um, well, I go to catch her before she... Whoa! Yes, do not tell me what to do. It's simple. I, Lord Strahd, you adventurers. That's not how parties work. You gotta hey, work together, Strahd. Wakey, wakey. If you want your castle back, this teamwork and trust has to go both ways. Trust is a two-way street. Fine. Awake. <gasps> Good morning, sunshine. Okay. I walk right up to him and I put a finger no, right in uh, his nose. Don't do that. In my, like in my nose? Like <laughs> right <laughs> up against his nose. I like like right up against your face. Do not ever do that to me again. Sleep. I have five uses. <laughs> <laughs> you literally, <laughs> oh, you literally start to fall backwards. Uh, I need somebody to give me a deck save if they're gonna catch her. Uh, um, I'll probably just take it off. Deck save. Is no one gonna deck save to try to catch me? I know you're busy. Not, not a net twenty. Oh, that's good though. Anyways. Not a net twenty. Deck save. You catch core just before her head hits the ground. Yeah. Do you need a pause for something? Oh no, I'm I'm good. She's I'm just, just changing to a new armor. Willis is putting on her moon <laughs> armor. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna armor. I caught it's Cora. Just, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm lay like, her like off to the little side little a bit so. to Thank sleep. <laughs> Great. Okay, he's clear now. Yes. Can you please wake her up? Yes. <gasps> stop! 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 stop, stop. <laughs> Bring it, or we fight together. Your choice. Lead the way. I open the door gently. Okay, you open the door. Just a little bit, just a crack. Yeah. Yeah. Creek's open. Creek's open. You can uh, head through or not. It's up to you. There we go. There we go! Halby and Willa just start to go first, I guess. I'll go after them. Everyone's through? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the door slams behind you, and you hear a locking nice. mechanism, and immediately the ceiling begins to descend. Ah! Good These... passage. <laughs> <laughs> Start cracking at the door. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Can I unlock the door from the outside? You can certainly try. I would like to try. Okay, go ahead. Boop, boop. <laughs> uh, describe what you're doing. <laughs> I would like to blink uh, under the door. I'm gonna miss one through the door and uh, give Alvy advantage. Oh! Okay. I I li- uh, go back and try. I listen. I try to help. <laughs> I did asshole move. I will not do again. Thank you. Yes. Very asshole that. move. As I'm fiddling with the lock. Uh, the ceiling is quickly descending uh, as you're lock, fiddling lock. with the lock. Um, oh, man. You all I'm have trying. to get on your knees you're in order advantage. to not be crushed. Okay. Okay. I was helping. I'm on my knees okay, and I'm gonna hold up my, uh, uh, just like my axe and try to like keep up the, the roof. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Yeah. I'm ten. Holding this up to prop up the, like a did you have, ceiling. Did you roll yeah. advantage? Yeah, I sure did. Oh good. Oh wait, I can also give myself. Boop. I. 
touch myself and give myself an extra D3. <laughs> That's what happens when I never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, one, so 11. Okay, um, so you are able you? to just barely um, pick the lock. Um, your sort of lock picking tools sort of break in your hands right as that happens. <laughs> uh, the door, the, and the door opens. Uh, go, go, go! I'm gonna keep holding up the thing when it's like, uh, Okay, is everybody gonna rush out or? Get out of the room! Yes. Yeah, okay. Out. Okay. Wait, Willa. Willa. From the last Come, second, Willa. I take, I pull down my axe and I'm like sliding into home base, kind of. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you pull your hat on the way out. Okay. And as the door once more closes behind you. You're okay, baby. It's fine. <laughs> Sort of another um, door, op- another door that was obscured by um, sort of just it was an, inv- an invisible door appears as the other door to your left to oh, the left side of the room great. appears. We did, we did, we worked together. Teamwork. Yes. What is this? It's got it's a high five. Just teamwork. My hands very cold. Me too. <laughs> That's not because I'm undead though. Just to clarify. Just poor circulation. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 Great, different door. Yes. Is there a better door? No. We close? Yeah, you can open the door. I kick it open. Okay, nice. you kick open the door, and there is, uh, 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 like, right at, there's another spiral staircase downwards. Okay, another I one. did not install this staircase. It is, oh my gosh, headache. Come on. That seems like a lot of cardio. All right, we See, got this. Twisted sense of humor. So you make wow. your, are you gonna head down the staircase? Yep, I'm mm-hmm. just, all right, we can do this. Can we I'm just pumping myself check up. and see if it looks trapped on our way down? Oh, are there like rocks or like stones, pieces of broken tile like on the ground anywhere? No. <laughs> I'm just having a horrible time. I'm gonna throw something down this, if I see anything that I could Toss down the. Great. Okay, I'm gonna reach into my bag. I have a little bit of money. I'm gonna take literally one piece of gold, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna throw it down the stairs. It just clinks slowly down the stairs, down the stairs, like a slinky. Okay. Put it, and it sort of spins, stops. Okay, so we're not in the alternate universe then. It didn't keep just like. <laughs> <laughs> We are awake. I mean, you are in an alternate universe, I mean, yeah. essentially. We are awake, though. Okay. Um, okay. Don't go. I mean, that's pretty much all I got. Okay, but I'm going to keep my... I'm just going to f- f- fly down. I'm not going to put my feet okay. on the stairs. You fly down the stairs. Next down. You yeah. fly down the stairs. Go I down. walk, because I can't fly. So. Okay, so give me a deck save. <laughs> Lame. Oh, God. I fuck knew me. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Why you got to do this to you me after go. I took away all of my decks? <laughs> after I switched <laughs> weapons. Dex is not the best save. Um, oh, I'm done. Yeah, and 11. 21. Nice. God. Can I have your D20? Okay, so sort of, uh, <laughs> so basically right. this like sludgy, oily liquid sort of spurts down the stairs and they collapse and turn, t- turn into a ramp. Core, you sort of slide down oh, yeah. uh, was, on your back, uh, and Gum, you sort of like skate down. Yeah, <laughs> oh, skate. Oh, 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 <laughs> and you arrive at the end of the staircase. So let me just preface just, now. Like, we see Cor, who is probably, we're still wet from the deluge outside, and now you're covered in sludge. <laughs> I just, like, as I hit the bottom, I just go, <laughs> yeah, and I just, like, flop onto my back. Oh, God. And you're covered in, like, oily sludge. And when I get down there, I'm going to do, I'm going to go front flip, and then I'm going to land and go, ha, <laughs> acrobatics, <laughs> acrobat, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I just stand there. Uh, 16. Nice. Yeah, that's enough. You then, uh, land a perfect front backflip. Which front, one? Front, front, front flip. And then I land and I look at Cora. I'm like, <laughs> I just don't move. <laughs> Bravo. I'll teach you some new moves when we get back home. <laughs> I help her up. I just, just need a moment. 
<laughs> I'll be right here. Uh, if everyone can give me a perception check. Spare I me, saw please. The, the D3. Uh, it was uh, 10. 10 minutes. How much time has passed by since you we had the I'm, feast? I'm gonna switch D20s. I know. Hey, Dan, how much time has passed since we like, got into the, the castle? That was a horrible mistake. In that one? No, I got a four. Um, how much time has passed since we ate the feast and we did all this stuff? Oh, the feast lasts for 24 hours. No, no, no. I mean, in terms of actual time that has passed since we arrived and we got downstairs. 45 minutes. Okay, great. Then I don't have this anymore. Okay. Mm. Okay, so um, you said perception. Yeah, perception. I seven. No, you're fine. I had a 10. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Hey, friend, uh, 19, can you stop Willa? this? <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm talking to my... my, my <laughs> oh, I was like, why did I... 19. Okay, great. Um, don't worry about it. Everybody, uh, you have finally arrived on the dungeon level. Uh, oh, there so are sort of there. bars and jail cells uh, along uh, along a corridor, and it sort of splits off in a T uh, up in front of you. Do I know where to go? Uh, uh, yes, you would. You would know where to go. Um, this way, left. This is dungeon. I keep. Um, I can tell. Enemies here, and also this crypt of family. So that is good side. As I'm following, I'm just like wringing sludge out of my. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, Cord's walking behind the group. <laughs> yeah. In case we get lost, we can follow your sludge path back to the. Ha ha ha! Grubs. <laughs> and uh, Strahd, you would know about the uh, guard who's down here, so you mm. can choose to either share that information or not. Sure. So is the guard like? Do I know the guard personally? Or yeah, you know the guard personally. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well then. Like. Like you, yeah. Okay. You 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 visit Van Richten every now and then. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because you want to like rub in his face that he's captive. Behind. Yeah, yes. captive. Uh, okay, so uh, what do we do? We arrive then at the where Van Richten would be. Uh, he's around another corner. So if you don't want to alert the guard, um, mm, you would need to. Okay, almost here. One problem. Yeah, there is. Uh, guard. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chance is he is under control of Shar. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yes. So, um, kill or talk? You are pro- you. Yeah. Is the guard evil? Yes, we are so close. We spent many uh, nights drinking no beer and uh, yes. Who's the guard? What's their name? Um, he's, he's Timmy. I was just trying to stop him. I don't know. Timmy? Now I want to meet him. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy or Timmy? Timmy. Timmy. Yes, he is Etten. He has two head. He's what? He has two heads. Etten. What is that? Two head. Oh, good, with two head. Listen. Oh, good, two head. Got it. Very dumb. Wait, are both heads named Timmy? Timmy and um, Jimbo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. how's, your, uh, how's your sleep spell looking? Hmm? The spell that you cast on Core earlier? Mm-hmm. Yes. Do you think that would work on Timmy and, and also Jim? No. Jimbo? Timmy is uh, too strong. What about Jimbo? Spell only work on weak people. So like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. He's complimenting Barovia. <laughs> would the sleep spell work on Jimbo? Mm, no, I do not believe so. Okay, well. Perhaps. Mm, that's okay, have... I'm sure you have other strengths. Yes, I do. Many. But <laughs> I, leave, <laughs> I leave this to you. Be simple. I don't want to see the two headed ogre then, thank you. Oh, then I do? I. No, I just tried other... to work together. Yes, that's it's, great. Yes, okay. So you're asking what would, would we like to fight the guard? Yes, so or... I'll do a good thing. Yes. No, I'd like to avoid the guard. <laughs> I get blood now. Well, why don't we try to, is it possible to sneak by? Well, how is this posted? How is this all set up? Can we, can we it get like Van Richten out? Is it different than it was before? Or uh, it, it doesn't look particularly different. I'm going to peek around the corner. Okay. Is, is, I'll keep it Yeah, around. you see like this looming two-headed figure like heavily... <sighs> <gasps> oh God! Does he look like he has an aura of any? Like, is he? Is he look like he's still under my command, or probably not? Probably not. Shit. Okay. 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 I have idea. Um, I can make one of you completely invisible. 
You take key. We win. Alvi. Yeah. I think it would be you. Oh yeah, sure. Because you're the smallest. Sure. So you'll go by more undetected. Great. Here is B key. Oh. No offense. Okay, who's who's the stealthiest out of all of us? Or the sleight of hand? I literally have greater visibility, so it doesn't matter. I have a quick question. Oh, me about, then. Put me in, coach. Um, my, uh, my echo. Is it corporeal? I feel like I've already asked this, but... It's, uh, I wouldn't be able to do this. It wouldn't be able to, like, okay. Even if I used my, um, uh, what is it called? The, the thing that I just got, um... It would be visible, At so Echo it would Avatar. essentially engage in combat more than likely if you send it out there because it's a visible echo. And you Can you cast invisibility no. on an echo? No. No? Okay. I'm pretty brawny. Oh, wait, aren't you very brawny? Yeah, that's right. I okay. literally have the brawny feet. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, okay. Oh, I Elvin. can carry heavy things. Elvin. Okay, great. I oh. You don't you. want to assume things about my size. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah. yeah thank you. Is Barovia, we do think backwards. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Great. Great invisibility. Wow. Alvi oh. totally vanishes. Howie? You can even attack the great invisibility. Yeah. You can do anything. Oh. Yeah. Howie? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> she is there. Where? You're now there. Point you right. cannot see. Huh? I have two sides. Howie? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yo, <laughs> no, to your left. Down. <laughs> up. Up, up, up now. She, she's <laughs> very fast. Ah. <laughs> 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 Look, it's, it's, really, it's parkour. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> Go get the key. To the key. Go get the key. Mm-hmm. Here's yeah, you're your gonna head down. Very small voice. Yeah. So you head down. Dun, you just hear that heavy breathing. Dun, 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 I hope Shar doesn't have true sight. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. Do you hear that? Ethan. <laughs> yes, I had name wrong. I <laughs> Ethan. do not know at. Uh, I pay him small, miserable Ethan, salary. Ethan, what's that? I don't know. Did you literally call him Timmy and Jim? I don't Bell? know. And its name is Ethan. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know, John. 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 <laughs> what, well, do you hear something? Do you, do you, do you hear something? Uh, I use Druidcraft to make just the sound of like little rats skittering. And you can do that because greater visibility yeah. doesn't kick you out of, grace, out of visibility when you do so. I knew that. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. very good. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't hear... N- oh, 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 there are rats down here! Are there rats down here? I can't! I can't do it! I can't do the rats, Ethan! Jam it, John! I can't do it! <laughs> Jam it! <laughs> Um, <laughs> and he, Ethan and John sort of lumber towards you, and they start to run out of the dungeon. They have the key, though, right? Did you grab? Do you want to try? To yes, they have the key. on and they're leaving. Oh, I, I guess so as they sneak by, so. give me a slight, uh, 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 slight of hand. See if you can pick. If they're distracted, would she get advantage? Yeah, you can have advantage. I'll give you advantage because they're freaking out about the rats. Eighteen. Eighteen. That's fine. Yeah, you easily pull the keys off you? of their belt. Are they coming towards us? <laughs> uh, the dungeon kind of winds around. They're not running towards okay, you. Good. Sorry, <laughs> it's, sort of just like a, it's a labyrinth down here. Okay. The the mouse noise accidentally led them, <laughs> led them, led them right to us. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I will unlock the door. Okay, you unlock the door. We literally just see these yeah. keys floating in the air, Tell right? Me. Great, I give you, I call high five. She's five. Yes. You don't even know if she did or not. Great. Though. Oh, wait, no. Strahd invent. Yes, you did. Make much money. Well. He's a good deal. <laughs> Every time you high five, he gets money. <laughs> Royalties. <laughs> Royalties. Uh, and sort of in the, uh, the uh, corner of, the, there's like, it's very dark. And in the oh, very back. Uh, okay, corner. as I kind of go up to where I think Alvi is, question mark, next to the keys, oh, yeah. I'm going to tap my axe. Come on. And I cast light. But bless you. See sort of a oh, up, I thought you were trying to crumple up season. figure in the corner no. of the room, just like blind. Wave the axe. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Uncle, uh, Va- Uncle Van Rickey. T- turn Strahd it. has something he wants to turn say to you. Turn the light off. Turn the, oh, oh, okay. I turn the oh. light off. 
It's like a clap where I just clap and then turn nice. it on. Oh, what in the nine hills was that? Oh. Uh, Uncle Van. Van Richten, you son of a bitch, and I'm gonna go strand him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, we need him! Stop we that. need him! <laughs> Teamwork! Or you don't get your castle back! I go up and I kind of just like body check Strahd. Uh, I don't move. Oh, oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop! Can I cast shield on Van Richten? Oh, Ricky? interesting. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Cast shield on Van Richten. V- Van Richten. Yeah. Fine. <sighs> Stop. Fine. Fine. Oh. Talk to him. So, See if so, I can. Okay, I'm gonna go up to him really quick. I'm just really gently, I'm gonna put my axe down on the ground. What we're, are you doing? Hey. We're friends of your nephews. No friends of my nephews would ever be found in company of Strahd. Fuck you. We didn't really have a choice. And neither did they. Xavier and Xander, we think have been used as vessels for Shars darkness they transformed into demogorgon that the one that's upstairs that's them we traveled with them through what? well we were with my them. nephews he's true he's true i they tracked called them. you uncle van ricky what did you do you monster no stop I van Richten. and sort of van Richten goes up and tries to choke you no stop <laughs> I, know, I, like, I choke him back <laughs> So you're about to choke each other, and then you, Van Richten... You Richten, son of a bitch! You vampire hunter! I fucking ate you, you stupid <laughs> strawberry! No, He's smacking you, you in the face! Just smacking you in the face, Spongebob! I didn't do it for Tatiana! I fucked you! You stupid fuck you! Fuck you! I will kill you and your family! I will kill you and your family! You fucking shit! Eat shit! Eat shit! I am not about to babysit your two adults! Eat shit! 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 Eat these are dire circumstances. And I know they don't affect you very much, but they affect all of us, and they affect your nephews. Your nephews are up there under the control of Shar, and we, just as much as I'm sure you, want them back. They have the Rod of the Four Moons, and when they have it in their control, it's the Rod of Oblivion. No. They told us a lot about you. Trust they us. Really, no. If no, no, it, no, all my worst fears. They. Oh. We're trying to go under the assumption that they didn't do it out of their own bidding. They did say they were sorry. I don't know if we can save them or not, but we can try to save. If they have the mark of Shar. Oh. Very. No. I was afraid of this. Listen. I'm sorry. I will not listen to you, you uh, uh, blood please sucking wait. ape! You son of a bitch, you... Uh, <laughs> fine, fine. I listen, Alvi is smart. She teach me something. We are working as a team. The trust is going both ways today. So he gets his castle, and we get our friends, and you get your nephews. Do you have any idea what this monster will do if he gains control of his castle right now? Do you have any idea how lucky you are all to be alive? Right now! That's a problem for many, the future Many, many times we have been lucky to be alive. The fact that we are still here, the chances of that are so slim. We have no choice but to be here with this fucker. I hate him almost as much as you do at this point. Trust me. I like He's this good rela- one. He's good I like relation. this one. I yes. like this one a lot. Me too. He's good relation. <sighs> Your nephews worked with us. It saved our skins many times. Xavier took a lot of notes and wanted to share them with you. Wait, do we agree that she is... We both like her. I don't think I can like her if you like her. No, I cannot either. He's bad. He's bad. Please. I'm gonna go right up to Van Richten. Is he standing? Is he sitting? Like, what's going on? He's sort of kind of crap. He's standing, but he's sort of kind of like hunched over. He has tried to kill me hundred times. You have tried to kill me hundred yeah. times. Right. I'm literally gonna go off to Van Richten, or yeah, and just get right in his face, right in front of him. Yes. Xavier was taking notes that he wanted to share with you about the things he learned here. You say my nephews are corrupted by Shah. There is no hope for them. I'm trying Do you to have it. any idea how powerful the dark magic shard wields is? Do you know how powerful the goddess Selune is? One of her vessels, too. 
and this Either gift. you help me or you don't, and I will leave you in this dungeon. Fan victim. But I'm going back to you, shut up. No. I'm has... going back to my mom. He has something. He has something that he will use to kill me. But he must give it up if he wants to save his children. You know. The bolt. I knew there was something in this for you. For me? There is something in this for all of us. It is only way. <clears throat> you must give it up. But not to kill me. No one is going to walk away truly happy from this deal. I you must understand. not give it up. You must die, you monster. Can it at least wait until we save your nephews? Until save we save them. my kingdom, our kingdom, our homes, the entireties of the Feywilds, of Feyrune, of every realm is at stake. Very well. I need you to tell me what happened from the beginning. Not the beginning of your adventures with my nephews. The beginning of their fall. We were in the kingdom of New Arvindor from the Feywilds. It had been ripped from its, from its home in the Feywilds into one of the domains of dread. This happens quite often. This is how the domains were built. Yes. Yes. They were pulled out of space and time and brought here. We were in a great battle with Hirshum, the trickster god. I've heard tell of this one. Indeed. He's dead. We took impressive. care of him. Very impressive. He had the last piece of the rod of the four moons, the rod of oblivion. And we had been tasked by Selune to gather these pieces. But your nephews, once we gathered the last piece, took them and they said to us that they had no choice, that they were sorry, and then they turned into the monster upstairs. What monster did you say? A demogorgon. has two heads. I know what a Demogorgon is. We figured you would. So you know how dire these stakes are. If a Demogorgon kills you, you are dead forever. Do you understand this? We will not die. We have also, too much. If we don't fight it, we're dead forever anyways at this point, so... We have no use but to try. Very well. I will help you, but not for your sake. I fear my nephews may be beyond saving, but if it is truly what you say, then, it does appear we have no choice. Take me to them. Maybe they are still in there, and if they're going to listen to anybody, it would be you. They never listened to me. <laughs> they respected you a great deal, however. That doesn't mean that they listened to me. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but... As much as I want to save the twins, I understand that there is more at stake here than just their lives. It's everyone's. And they'd know that too. They yeah. knew all your research. They knew about monsters. If they had any inkling that they would transform into a Demogorgon, then I'm sure they had already made peace with that. Yes, they certainly knew what they were. I have written about them before. Very well. Well, I will need my weapons. I, you are impossible. Fine. I open a, a dimensional portal with weapons. Oh, oh. Nice. Yeah. 
If you so much aim that bolt at me, I will murder you. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. Yes, you too. This. Here's your weapons. Thank you. I think they. I think they're best friends. <laughs> anyways, enemies. 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 You remember Xavier and Xander's crossbows. Yeah. They look like little dinky toys in comparison to this just beautiful, ornate, like just longbow style crossbow. I mean, it's nice. it's a honking piece of equipment. <laughs> and it has a rapid fire reel on it so that you can literally crank it and like, it's like, a, it's yes. like a yeah. You see, like... it's large, well written, try to compensate. Ha, I get you. Whip your dicks out. I'm sorry, I'm done. I would prefer if you did not speak any longer. Yes, good. I would prefer good. if neither of you would speak. We should probably <laughs> really? head upstairs. We, upstairs. we need to head back. Yes, um, next next step, he's a spire. That is where the Demigorgon is, but... Is it going to suck as much as I did getting down here, going back up? No, it is easy. There is elevator. Oh. I, there is elevator? Is all, listen. <laughs> The power of Shard is dampening area. We cannot fly, we cannot go up, but through elevator. Why could we not take elevator back down? No, no, elevator only goes from first floor to second floor to third floor to spire. How does it get back down? Then how do we get back up there? We walk. It's oh. simple. Oh. All in right. Barovia, it's two feet, one in front of other. Let's go. Yes, okay. Let's go fight. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. But, um, okay. Let us go. What? Let's go. There is trap. There is trap. Of course in there is. Yes, what is it? Tell us about it before we walk into it this time, please. Well, this trap is the only one I know. It is not simple trap. It is trap that make one face own nightmare. <sighs> but like everything else in this castle, it is likely twisted. Perhaps very powerful. One must enter. Should they succeed, then we may all proceed to the spire. You say only one person has to go in? One person has to fight in the trap, yes. Can't one of you go in? No. It will not accept me. It that was Rick designed didn't... to protect him. My whole castle is warred against Fenrikton. It will not work for him either. So we must person, make haste. This person who goes in has to face, what, their greatest <laughs> fear? Nothing. What? Yes. Nothing. In battle. It is perhaps certain death. I make no guarantee. Shall we head up? Can you lead us out of this mess? Screw you, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I'll head. I'll, we'll head back up. Unless there's anything else in the way, we can head straight to the elevator. Yeah, you can head back through the caverns pretty easily. Okay. Um, you've triggered all of the traps at this point. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, um, and you just sort of see like um, uh, as you make your way out, you sort of see like in a corner of the dungeon, like uh, the the <laughs> the guards <laughs> just like shaking at oh, the sound of the rats no. in the corner, just absolutely terrified. <laughs> He's okay, I make Jenny. a little flower bloom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my god, poor things. It's a flower. Oh! <laughs> it's very nice. So you make your way back through the room that tried to collapse on you. Well, around by the room that tried to collapse on you. I'll give him a little bit of history lessons, some family. Sure, lead stuff the way back. Away. And, uh, no, I mean, you know, I'll just talk about it as we go. Okay. So you make your way up to the final uh, ascending staircase now. And you arrive back um, sort of outside of the Great Hall. Okay. Is the Hero's Feast still in there? Yes. Mm. Cool. Have you all... I'm just, I'm, just eye- I'm just eyeing that chocolate cake a little bit, but it's fine. Is the elevator nearby? Uh, yes, you know exactly where it is. Okay. I'm gonna say, unless you want anything else. I hope you have... No extra benefits from eating more food. 
No, you still have the benefits. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, like, we're, like, no. <laughs> Come <laughs> on! <laughs> Doubled. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, I'm good. Um, are we still feeling like we want to be stealthy? No. I think at this point. At this point, it is almost end. Sure. All right. Um, okay, let's go up. I just... Mm. I feel this meal may be one of your last. Fight strong. And I take the elevator. Okay. You open the elevator. It's sort of this ornate um, gate, old fashioned style. Strata opens it up. And then there's that extra sort of gate. You all step into the elevator. Um, as Strata's holding the door, kind of, I'm just going to stop and look at him. At who? At you. Mm. I don't appreciate what you just said. My friends have been through a lot. I have too. I've known many deaths. Yeah, but we don't kill for fun. I don't kill for fun either. You misunderstand me, Willa. I kill for love. And I step in the elevator. I'll follow behind him. Okay. Follow. You step in, the doors, Van Richten closes the doors behind you, and you creakily and sort of jumpily begin your ascent. When was this last inspected? Um, <coughs> 136 years ago. It's made break. I hold on to the railing a little bit. <laughs> and you ascend up. <laughs> And yes, there's a big creak and sort of a stop. Ugh. And then the uh, door, the, not the door that you open, but the door behind you, uh, nearest to gum, sort of creaks open. It is. And this sort of uh, shimmering field opens up, sort of portal. Like this is the trap or? Yeah, like going through the portal would be the trap. So only one of us can go in here. Only one. We can't go together? And yeah, whoever steps in first. Okay, well. I go. So you guys lit. What? I go on the portal. Go. Uh, uh, before you can say anything, gum passes through the portal and it immediately <gasps> shuts and a gate closes in front and of And I finish. Gum! See you guys later. Gum! He's... I walk up and put my hands on the gates. There's nothing we can do. We can't. We can't follow. Hey, he's got it. I'm sorry. He's got it. He's Just, good. He Any must of fight. us Cor, move it. out of the way. And I literally no. am gonna take my axe and try to like jam it into the 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 door frame. And I'm trying to creak the door back open. Using I'll, I'll try to help as well. Uh, you all attempt to open the door, but <laughs> there's essentially there's nothing you can do. <sighs> I'm sorry. Gum? He must fight now. Is he I away? knew he was going to do something stupid. Gum? Can we see anything that's happening in there? Uh, once the gate has closed, um, like it sort of like locks down, mm-hmm. but then like that film sort of appears behind the gate, and mm-hmm. you can see through the bars essentially what's happening. It like is. the plasma screen's coming up. Hello <laughs> and welcome! <laughs> Can he hear us? Can he hear us shouting to him? No. So, I'm going to kind of smack the door while this is happening. It was supposed to be me. So Luna told me I was the... You find yourself in the glistening city of New Arvindor. Hmm. At the height... Of its glory, its beautiful walls stand high, protecting it from the outside world. Crows fly above. Wow. I forgot how beautiful it was. And you look down at yourself, and you appear transformed in your original form. 
pointed ears. Prince Gamal. Handsome face. Elegant clothing. Oh. Wow. Spirit the ready. I do some cool. <laughs> wow. And suddenly, I miss thumbs. <laughs> Suddenly, it's cursed. Oh, there is a flash of lightning Please, from beyond the wall. <laughs> and the ground begins to rumble and tremble. Oh, jeez. Oh. And what rises is a gigantic creature, a gigantic satyr, looming above the wall. Oh, fuck. I'm so dead. (laughs) I'm so mad. I'm so mad. (laughs) All right. More, more, more. That's all I got. I like it, I like it. That's so fun. Okay. And um, the creature crushes through the wall and people run screaming around you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm taking the cloak off for this. Yeah? <laughs> I'm taking the cloak You're off for this. heading into battle? I guess. Take it off! <laughs> I Anyways, guess. The rest of the three of us are like poking our faces. Oh my gosh. Roll for initiative. Oh shit. I'm by myself, aren't I? I'm, yep. Oh no. Oh, no. Nat 20. Whoa! Oh! Let's go! Yes. You're rolling great today. You are going first, <laughs> my friend. All right, so it's is it still behind the wall? No, it's crashed through the wall. It's crashed through the wall now. Oh god. Now, can I ask a DM question? Yeah. I am back to myself. Do I have my Sure you do. I'm like I like take my foot and I just go. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I still got it. All right. You got a nice spring to yeah, your Yeah, I, I literally just went. I I was like getting ready and I like put my foot in the dirt and I went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, full speed ahead. Charge and... Sort of leap through the air. Leap through the air, and I'm going to I'm gonna stab him with my glaive and do yeah. that stuff. Yeah. You're staring down this massive satyr. How uh, tall this, is this thing? Oh, I mean, it's it's huge. It's big enough to cover the... I mean, it's it's like 120 feet tall. It's, it's like a titan. The size of a titan? It's a titan. Yeah, it's the size of a titan, <laughs> one might say. Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Crawling over the wall. Oh, my God. That's so terrifying. I, like, see it. Okay. What does the satyr look like? Does it look like... It looks like Hirschen. No. <sighs> All right. Okay. I've been looking forward to seeing you Dead. again, you ugly <laughs> fuck. All right, so I'm running. Here. I'm going to do the... Two glaives stabs, and then I'm gonna roll to hit. <sighs> Jesus, this is this is oh like God. this is kind of scary. <laughs> okay. You've been rolling well. Oh no. Oh shit, that's <laughs> fucking good. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? First first roll. It's a mat one. Okay, that's a critical miss. So you you run up, and you try to stab at the titan, and it just like moves its foot just right beyond you. <sighs> roll to hit again. Net twenty. Whoa! Oh my god! There we go. I just went. I, okay, so it's a it's a critical miss, and it's just like a it's one of those like ching moments, and it's just like I'm not doing that again. And then I just turn around and give it a big old stab. You stab right in its like sort of like Achilles. Yeah, heel. right in the Achilles. Yeah. Yep. Uh, give me your damage, okay. and if you would like to do anything else. Yes, uh, I want to. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Me. Yep, I'm gonna do the two, the two. The, so right. you have one of those now because you missed one hit. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So would that be just a D8 then? Uh, Since it's one. It's one D10 plus eight. Okay. Got it. Okay. Oh, so no, and I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do Eldritch Smite. Nice. Uh, nice. Af- after I do that it. Hit. Okay. Roll so. that damage. That's five D8s. Yeah, it's yes. five D8. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, plus one, the one d ten plus eight. Yeah, sorry, I plus eight. I think. Or, yeah, one d ten plus eight. So and that's then, and then another d eight plus eight. Yeah. Do you need some more? Uh, I need some d eights. I got you. Okay, so we gotcha. so I, that's around. eleven so far. I think there you I'm. Go. I think I'm good. 
Bro, hi! Oh god, okay. 11, 21. Wait. Uh, 29. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I... Oh, that's your D10. I'm do, I, was, I was like, did I give The 11 was the D10 plus 8. Mm-hmm. 21, 29, excuse me, 35, 40. 40 damage? Yep. It's awesome for one hit. Amazing. So the Titan, sh this sort of Titan uh, version of Hirsham shrieks in pain and sort of loses its balance a little bit um, and falls to one knee. And um, as it, as it, uh, do you have any follow-up attacks? Oh, you can I... Uh, you can use the blunt end if you'd like. Action. Am I allowed to jump and blunt end him in the eye? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna oh, jump damn. and blunt end him in the eye. Since roll a hit. The, since he's down on uh, on his knee, I can get a little roll to hit. You, roll to hit. Roll to hit. Come on, you're the prince, the crown prince. Okay, sorry. Uh, why the? I think you're plus, is he plus eleven to hit now. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's a plus eleven. Why am I drawing a blink here? I did that and then plus. Plus 11. It should be somewhere. Oh my. But I think. But no, I think, you're right. Okay, yeah. 18. 18. That is a hit. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Give and me your then, damage. Yep. 1d4 plus 8. Ah. Come on. 1d4 plus Prince. 8. Uh, 12. Oh, nice. 12. 12. Oh, wow, yeah. So you just like stab it like right in the eye with the blunt of your spear, and its eye is all bloodied and dripping down, and you sort of fall down. <sighs> And uh, back to the ground, and uh, you you land on your feet. And Whew. the Grave Titan is gonna sort of take out its giant uh, its giant great sword, and it's gonna swing outwards at you. Oh god! Oh jeez! After I land, I wanna do like a look around. Like, are they? Where are they? Like, I didn't like still confused where I am. I don't know if they could like. You if can't I could see, see them. them. Okay, I'm like looking around. Like, where are they? What's your AC? Uh, it's 18. Uh, it's oh, I forgot to, damn it. Armor of No, you can shoot right now. But I can do, I, I meant to do that. You already have that kind of with uh, Okay, spaces, yeah, you're right. So, yeah. Yeah, you're, oh, fair enough, Sorry. fair enough. Um, well, yeah, it's not quite as good. You said 18? Yeah. Okay, so that's, that first attack is a hit. It sounds like a lot of dice over there. Yeah, it does. Um, it's gonna come and swing at you with a whopping 15 damage. Okay, that could have been worse. That's a bad for now. Bye, Strahd. So, it comes down at you and slices right at your side. And then it's gonna swing back at you again. Um, and that is a... That is a miss. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Let's so it go. whiffs. Ah, and you're ah. up again. Okay. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm doing what I did again. Okay. I'm gonna. I can do Elder Smite twice. Yes. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna go in with the glaive for the for the first hit. Okay. Um. Plus 11. Uh, sorry, 25. That's a hit. For the first one, and then... Oh, did you double your damage also for that? Oh my god. Oh my oh, god, that... wait, because it was a crit. Yeah, just double. It was 40, so, so 80. 80. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. 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 Wow, yeah, so it's like, it's <laughs> I forgot cool about that. <laughs> 80 damage. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... That's the crit dance. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll, um, <laughs> that was 25 for the first one, yeah. and then... Nice. Oh, hell yeah. 27 for the next glaive hit. Nice. Uh, that's a hit? Yeah. Sorry. Um, okay. Uh, 1d10. I need to have my dice, so. 10 plus. Oh, okay. And then plus 1d8. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Protect you, Arvindor. Okay, so that's 14 for the... Do I? Okay, so I'm so sorry. 1d10 plus 8 plus 1d8. Those are both of those. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so that's 14 for that. And then I'm going to do Eldritch Smite Heck again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to do it again. Yep. Knock him on his butt. And then I rolled a hit for that. Oh, yep. they make him prone. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, that's a 26. That's a hit. Yeah. Eight, excuse me. Okay. Nice. You're that's rolling great. Four. Yeah. Would you be attacking an advantage if you did Eldritch Smite prone? It's not prone. It's just on its knee. Oh, okay. Cool. It's huge or smaller, this creature is gigantic. Uh, damn it, okay. So even now, just fight his limitations? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a 16. 
Uh, 16 damage. For Extra damage. Eldridge. Okay, eldridge. great. And then if I get my bonus action again, I'm gonna so wait, I'm gonna yeah. stick the blunting up his butt. Nice. Oh, ah. <laughs> Do it. I'm gonna stick it Roll up a his hit. butt. That's a 27. That's Gross. a hit. Gross. And one D, okay, one D, one D four. Okay, sorry. That's the dice. Let's go. Twelve. Nice. Twelve with the butt. Nice. Twelve right at the butt. I thought this was gonna be like an emotional fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the Titan sort of shrieks. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no you do your no, thing. You do your thing. Uh, uh, Gamera's back, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come, he's um, a formidable fighter. And sort of, uh, it's gonna stand back up, and it's gonna like sort of claw at its chest, and it rips open its chest, oh, oh, and there is a bunch of other, like, like, like decaying satyrs inside of it, and it pulls out oh. the satyrs, and it's gonna throw them at you. Oh, oh god! Damn. Oh my god. Look <laughs> out, look out! Ooh. And that is a hit. Oh, satyr hit. Oh god. Satyr on sa- hot satyr <laughs> on satyr action. <laughs> hot satyr on satyr action. And that is a total of thirty-five damage. Yikes. <sighs> okay. That was a big hit. Okay. And then is that what satyrs are made of? as the as the satyrs <laughs> sort of <laughs> smack against you and hit on the ground. Five of them rise up around you and surround oh, no. you and come clobbering towards you. Come clobbering towards me? Yeah, uh, you get to go before their, uh, you get to go again um, before their initiative. While this is happening, DM, I'm literally no, just like, but I use my, like hitting the I tattoo use my and trying to like already. smack on the door to like get I used in. Them already. To help him. Uh, I it is in I, I only have two spell slots. But I don't right? stop, right? though. Yeah, so you're done with. Oh. You can use your moonbeam, though, from your. Sphere. Oh, it hits multiple for free. targets. That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. Damn. Yeah. So I, I didn't See, now would have been a good yeah, time for I, it. I didn't realize you only had two. No, yeah. it's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do that moonbeam. That moonbeam good, goodness on this on the five people around. <laughs> okay. Can great. I hit all five of them at the same time? Or yeah, they're all like kind yeah, of like in a right semicircle, so you could kind of. Okay. <laughs> all right. Roll the hit. This place. Oh no! Wait. It's a saving throw, I believe. Oh yeah, it's a saving throw. Uh, so what's your spell save? DC? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 13. Okay. No, 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 but. It should be, no, you're good, yeah, it's that, but it should be higher now. It's like too higher because of your proficiency. It's like 15, roughly. Okay, uh, they make the save, so they take half damage. Okay, uh, well, so that was one. 3d10. That was, that one doesn't, that one doesn't. You still do the so damage. Three, so, one of them does half damage, but yeah. Roll, roll the damage, Only 3d10 right. plus. Yep, three, yep. just roll three times, add it up. Three times yep. add up, okay. Six. This place, what is it? Uh, 12. No, wait, 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 wait. Is the zero a zero or ten. a 10? Ten? Ten. 10. Then that means there's a 26. Okay, so 26 damage comes. It eviscerates uh, three of the, yeah, it eviscerates three of the five zombies. Um, and they just like burst and ex- uh, sort of explode. These satyrs, blood gushes into the air. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then one of the zombies is going to come at you. And that's a miss. So you kind of block it off with your spear. <laughs> and now, uh, the Grave Titan is, is up. Straw, there's nothing we can do to get in there. He's Force Cage. Nothing in or out. This is our old home. I see. Then... Okay, so it's going to swing at you once with its sword, and that's a miss. And the other is a hit. Crap. <laughs> what are your hit points at? Um, do I have to tell you? Yeah. <laughs> 16. 16. Yeah. Oh, God. He must fight like Prince. That is... 12 damage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So it swings at you, it cuts into your side. You shriek out in pain, you're heavily wounded. You've got one more turn. (laughs) Four hit points. 
he's doing this for his family. Can I use it? Let can, can I use this or am I out? No. Yeah. Yeah. I I you have to let him be the crown prince of Eagles. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm like down on my, I'm like, I guess I'm down on the ground right now. And I'm like holding up this glaive and I'm like, I'm like, all right, say lunate. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't know who you are, but I'm doing this for my friends <laughs> and Gwyn. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do Moonbeam again. Okay, hit me. Doing it Moonbeam again. That's that save. Oh God. That's a miss save. Okay. Full damage. Okay, I don't have to roll to hit. Oh, you're right. No, okay. you're I rolled the, I missed the save. Oh, God. Thank you. Nice. Take that. 19. Okay. How do you want to finish this uh, Grave Titan? <gasps> Are you serious? Oh How do you want to finish it? Are you it? serious? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, like, I, 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 I just, it's one of those things where like, I'm holding the glaive like, like this, and it's just going, <laughs> and then okay. just, like, blast out the glaive. It's a moonbeam. Yeah, just the going, moonbeam. Go. <laughs> like, I'm just like, Fuck you! Radiant energy just beams through its chest. Satyrs go flying every which way. And it's it sort of is towering over you, and it begins to fall towards you. I need a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God. Wait, that, I get... I, I get dex saving. Is it dex save or no? Just, like just dex save. That's right, that's right, that's right. No, we, we've been over this already. Um, 17. Um, unfortunately, uh, the Grave Titan comes falling down towards you, and as it does, its sword sort of <gasps> extends out of its hand, and it penetrates directly through your chest, through your heart, and you are slain. <gasps> Door. The gate hug. sort of the door. fizzles out, and the illusion vanishes, and your friend Gum is laying limp on the ground in front. Get out of my way! I run towards him as fast as I possibly can. I face step to get to him. I'm right behind her. I'm gonna fly right over behind her. As I as I get to him, I slide to my knees and and lift him in my arms. Come, come, Oral, come, Oral. I stick a berry in his mouth. You see, like his vital organs and like his heart are like laying beside him. Come, Oral. Listen, I will give you one minute to talk with him, if that is what you wish. Yes. All right, I'm going to temporarily cast Animate Dead on Gum. Great. DM, would I know that doing anything like Healing Word won't work if his organs are outside of his body? Yeah. Okay. So I uh, put some blood on my hands, and I'm going to cast a spell over him. Chalk. I put my hands on his face. <laughs> Wait, can I talk? Yeah, kind of. As like a Oh, okay. You okay. can you can basically talk, yes. Uh -huh. But just for very limited time. Uh-huh. Oh, so. It should have been me. Why did you do this? Oh I am at peace. I have I feel like I finally could help our our little home. Tell Gwen I love her. You should tell her yourself. You should be telling her, not me. I, it won't be me. It won't be me. I'm really proud of you, Gum. I'm proud of you. You're You've grown good. so much. You're a good person, Gum. You were a good teacher. Oh. Take care of each other. 
you'll always be with us. Every time I swing my axe, I'll think of you. <laughs> Fucking fuck them up. <laughs> your people will know about your bravery. That their crown prince came back for them. I'm not worried about that. I don't need my name in books. You need to forever be in our hearts. Clean it up. Fix this mess. Get home. You can do it. I love you, brother. You're a warrior of light. With that, on that somber note, we're going to call it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks.